One of the most challenging parts of internet marketing is creating and publishing high quality content. In fact, your ability to create and publish good content consistently can be the difference between the success or failure of your online business. As a business owner, it's important to understand that good quality content means more than simply writing articles that people enjoy reading. From a marketing perspective, good content has the following features. First of all, it is engaging and interesting for your readers, but it also targets specific keywords. And in doing so, it helps you to generate organic traffic to your website. In this video, I'd like to share with you an end-to-end -end process for creating and publishing high-quality content using Market Samurai. Specifically, we'll be looking at how to choose a topic, how to conduct research for that topic, how to write your article, and how to publish your article. Once you understand how this process works, you'll be able to make full use of the powerful features within Market Samurai. When most people sit down to write an article for their blog or website, they begin by asking themselves the question, what shall I write about? However, a much better question to ask yourself is, what do the people in my niche want to read about? The best way to answer this question is to do some keyword research before you begin writing your article. Let's take a look at an example so you can see exactly what I mean. For this example, I'm going to use a blog in the digital photography niche. I'll get started by creating a new project and then I'll enter digital photography as my seed keyword. Next, I'm going to go to the keyword research module and now I'll come across here and click the generate keywords button. Market Samurai will then generate a list of keywords related to my seed keyword, digital photography. When I get this list of keywords, I'll come down here and click the Analyze Keywords button. At the top of the screen, I'll now add some keyword filters. If you need more information about these filters, please watch the keyword research videos in the Noble Samurai Dojo. I'll begin by adding an SEO traffic filter of 80 and then I'll add a phrase to broad match ratio filter of 15. Then I'll come across here and click the Analyze Keywords button to obtain my SEO C and SEO V data. I can then add an SEO competition filter of 30,000 and an SEO value filter of 30. This reduces my list of active keywords to just six. One way to think of this list is to see it as a list of potential article topics. Once you've exhausted this initial list of topics, you can find more potential article topics by decreasing your SEO traffic filter and simultaneously increasing your SEO competition filter. For example, once I've written articles to target each of these keyword phrases, I might reduce my SEO traffic filter to 50 and also increase my SEO competition filter to 50,000. As you can see, this gives me a lot more article topics to consider. For now, Let's start at the top of this list and make the decision that we're going to write an article to specifically target the keyword Digital Photography Lighting. To begin, I'm going to come across and click on this key icon to create a new tab containing my target keyword. So now, I'll just come up here and click on this tab. Having identified a topic that people are actually interested in reading about, it's time to move to the next step of the process, which is to conduct research for the new article we want to write. To do this, all I have to do is come down and click the Find Content icon. And here, I have access to an incredibly powerful research tool. To conduct the research for my article on digital photography lighting, all I have to do is select the content sources I'm interested in. 
For this example, I'll click Easy in Articles, Google Blog Search, YouTube Videos, Scribe Documents, and Yahoo Answers. Then all I have to do is come across and click the Find Content button. As you can see, Market Samurai has found 44 articles relating to digital photography lighting from the sources I selected. To analyse these articles, I can just come down here and click the Analyze All button. This allows me to sort my results by phrase count, index count, page rank, backlinks or age. For this example, I'm going to sort my results by backlinks. I can now spend a bit of time watching videos and reading articles that are specifically relevant to my keyword digital photography lighting. As you conduct your research, you should be looking for an idea that gives you an aha experience. Whenever you find yourself thinking, oh, I never knew that, you've probably found an idea that can form the basis of an article. For example, while doing my research on digital photography lighting, I came across an article that mentioned using a flash film. Reading this article gave me the idea to write a step-by-step -step blog post on how to use your digital camera's flash to take pictures in bright light. To write my article, all I have to do is go across and click the Publish Content icon in the navigation bar. And to get started, I'll just come up here and click the New Document icon. Now the first thing I'll do is come up with a heading for my article. I'll call it Digital Photography Lighting – How to Use Flash Film. You'll notice that I've included the key phrase I'm targeting in the title of my blog post. Now it's time to write my article. Having identified a good idea using the Find Content module, all I have to do is describe that idea in my own words. So I'll just pause this video for a moment while I write my article. There we go. I've just written a quick article that illustrates the importance of using a flash when taking a photo against strong backlight. At the top of the editor, you'll find a number of common formatting options, including bold, italic and underline. There's options for bulleted and numbered lists, some paragraph options, text colour options. There's also options for creating links and adding images. For example, to add an image to my article, all I have to do is click the Insert Image icon. I can then find an image on my computer and click the Select button. To publish my finished article, all I have to do is come down and click the Publish button. In this example, I'm going to use a WordPress blog. To set up my blog in Market Samurai, all I have to do is fill in these fields. In the account name field, I'll enter a name for my blog that I'll easily recognise. For example, my photo blog. In the next field, I enter the blog URL, which in this case is http colon double forward slash www.digitalphotosecrets.com. I then enter my username and my password. When I'm done, I can just click the Add Account button. In the future, I'll just be able to select My Photo Blog from this drop-down box. Now that I've set up my account, I can go ahead and publish my article. The options I have here allow me to publish my article as a blog post or as a new page on my website. I can also choose to publish my article immediately or at a later date. And in this section, I can choose a category for my article. This test website just has the one category, so I can go ahead and click this checkbox. I can also choose where I want my image to be placed. I can either upload them to my blog account, upload them to a different account such as Flickr, or remotely link to the images from their current location. Generally speaking, you'll usually either upload them to your blog account or an account such as Flickr. 
For this example, I'll choose to upload the image to my blog. I can also choose to add my blog post to Rank Tracker if I want to. For now, I'm just going to come down here and click the Publish New Article button. And that's all there is to it. My article has now been successfully published to my blog. To view the article, all I have to do is click this link. And here's my finished post that's been published to my blog. So let's just recap what we've covered in this video. Instead of asking what shall I write about, we began with the much more important question, what do the members of my niche want to read about? In order to answer this question, we used the keyword research module and identified a specific target keyword, namely digital photography lighting. We then used the find content module to research our topic and to identify an idea to write about. Finally, we wrote our article in the Publish Content module and published it to our blog with just a few clicks of our mouse. The key advantages of this process are that you will always be producing content that the members of your market want to read, and each article you write will be targeting specific keywords, which over time will help to increase the levels of organic traffic to your website.